Hello, how do we make painting like this? So I can randomly place many objects, but remember, these objects are gonna come from scene, right? Before I show you how to do it using tide maps, I need to show you something very interesting. Notice that normally people repeat scenes for many objects using something what is called duplicated. Control plus D and we've got one more tree, right? That we can move, one more tree that we can move. And this causes problem because it clutters your game tree for things that repeats itself many times. And that's why you can solve it differently. Like for example, you can group them into a single node and call it, for example, objects, right? The first problem that we have with this solution is that we need to enable now also the ordering for the objects parent node, okay? But the second problem is that we still gonna clutter my scene when we have here like, I you know, 50 trees, 10, 20 mushrooms, 20 rocks or, and so on, right? This is not something that should show up here, right? This is something that we should just paint. And well, we can't now paint many at once in random places, right? And that's why we're gonna put it into different tile map layer. So we have got tile maps here and I'm going to create tile map layer, right? And let's call it objects. And now we need to put here somehow instead of the tile map, a scene collection. So when we create here a new tile set and we go into tile set, we need to now hit here plus button. And instead of choosing Atlas, we're going to choose scenes collections. And now here you can drag and drop scenes. So you can just drag and drop it from the scenes folder or hit the plus button and choose the one that you want to paint. So for example, a tree. Now when we go to the tile map and choose a tree, I can paint trees as you can see. Sometimes even too far. And that's why I'm gonna use the option to paint using re rectangle. This is also painting them too fast. So that's why I'm going to choose the scattering option, which as you can see, if it's low value, it's gonna make them, you know, show often. But when I put it here, for example, 100, as you can see, only two, three showed up. And that way, this is cool because I can like, okay, I need to uh, paint many trees, right? So uh, I'm gonna just choose this and do something like that. And bam, okay, that looks good. I have trees on my map. Right. And, uh, you know, I didn't clutter anything. I can uh, also, the cool thing is that I can now remove the single guy th like that. Right. Okay. I don't want this one. I'm just going to remove this. Okay. I, I can remove these trees because <laughs> they're on different layer. Right. Uh, we don't need it anymore, but, um, I can uh, delete any object from here. Right. Like, okay. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Right. I can remove them easily now. To make sure that they disappear, let's choose the re rectangle, okay, and this, and then when I choose them, as you can see, they disappear from places where I want. So I have got more control of drawing each tree, and I keep every bonus that comes from the scene, right? We could make here them being able to be chopped by axe or something like that, right? And all of this tree would have this behavior, right? and they are on different layer, uh, but there is also one more thing that we need to remember. Now, notice that when we have got the player, mm, let's do something like that, the ordering is not working. So we need to choose now objects and we need to make them ordering. As you can see, now they order properly with the trees itself, but not with our player. When I choose the player, as you can see, it's not working we need to also change the ordering for the tile maps, for all tile maps. And now, as you can see, everything is working fine like in the previous lecture. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask.